This game is huge for both coaches and both programs. Dick and I expect one player to step up and provide us with one shining moment in today's third round game between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Yale Bulldogs. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Bulldogs are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second of all, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. And finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Way off target. The point guard receives the pass. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Watch out, five-second call approaching. Great play to take that to the basket. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Nice little jam right there, the one-hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Dumps it in with a rejection. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Tries to get the D to bite. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Launches the three. That's good. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Number three is called for the foul. First team foul. Number 22 is feeling good. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First shot, good. Makes those free throws can. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the shot. up for two and Hawk gets a hand in the way the power forward handles the feed they say forget about him then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over sets the screen for his teammate and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot they still don't score. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Boy, terrible execution on offense. From the top of the circle. He nails the bucket. Trying to feed inside. There's a double team waiting there. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. For 
two. Can't get the shot to drop. Try to go inside. Outside jumper. It sticks. steal a pressure got to the ball handler awesome ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession they look to get it to the inside he dials long distance too strong trying to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Number 32 handles the pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. And he'll kick it back outside. High post flasher is open. And he tries to spin away. The dunk counts and the foul, Dick. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. Number double zero goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Here's a double team. Robs him of the ball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Number 15 receives the ball. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He nails the shot. The skip pass is picked off. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Jumps in. Yale is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. There's a bad pass right to the defender.
with the jump hook. And he missed. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he scores despite the hack. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Slam jam, bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. Coming inside. He shoots from long range, buried it. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Number 22 draws the personal. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. He'll go to the line. He gets it to go. Picks off the lazy pass. He bombs from outside. And they don't score there either. When you're one of the top-ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. Hey, at the top, you are the hunter, not the huntee. This means that you must bring your A game every day. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. He missed it for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Goes up for two. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. They move it into the front court. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. For two, can't get the shot to go. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Kicks it out from three-point range. There was no doubt about that one. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes for the deep one. Way off target. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. It's two at the charity strike. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Strips the ball. Number 15 goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. You gotta be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. 
That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Yale are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Defensively. He shoots from the top of the key. Knocks it down. Intercepted. Gave it up. He's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Trying to draw the foul, and he missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. With a long bomb. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Jumped in front to take it away. Inside. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear starting from here. <laughs> Number 15 is whistled for the foul. On the outside, he unloads a three. He makes the shot. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. the perimeter trying to draw some contact the land this crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here he tries the three off the rim and no good way out on top controlling the ball now they work it around the perimeter he blocks the shot. Way off target. Dump it inside. There's the trap. Perfectly executed.
Takes the pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. On the dribble, gives it up for two. And off the mark. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Stolen away. Yale is now in the bonus. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Second shot, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. steal in the post and he missed it Dick. Oh I'll tell you one thing what a poor job defensively he gambled. They strip him in the basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Rod. Number 32 fakes the shot. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. for two for one. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Stolen. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He attempts the trifecta. He gets the bucket. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. At the half, the Bulldogs are up by seven. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. 
Kansas seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And a momentary look from three-point land. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 22 is admired by the fans. Listen to that ovation. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. There's the pick. There's the roll. He puts up the three ball. He grabs the board. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. He makes a nice shot fake. Nice fake. Tries for two. Doesn't go. For the bucket. They still don't score. Fakes a jumper. Puts up the tray. Sinks it. Here's another look, Dick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He comes away with it. Nobody got that defensively. Rotation was very poor. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. It's a fast break possibility. There's the pick. For the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. That's a seven-zip run. They work it around the perimeter. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. A high screen. Let's take another look. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. surprise the opposition with a little change here Dick that might not be a bad idea time to pick up the defense here now take it away fake up fake Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That's a 13 nothing run. Picks off the lazy pass. The point guard gets the ball. Gave it up. Good fake. He goes.
goes with a jump hook. And in and out. On the outside, the small forward with the ball. For two, perfectly executed. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then so. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. The shooting guard takes the pass. Can't get it to go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. He gives him the fake. The small forward gets the pass. A strip of it in basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Picked out of the air. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Entry pass in the paint. Looking for the foul. The land. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Unloads a three. He hits it. Look at this last play right here. Kansas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Working it around the perimeter. He up fakes. Blocked! And the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and the strip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Cross court. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There's a double team waiting there. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he scores despite the hack. From the top of the key, rims out. Tries for two. Up, easy one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The 
this defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. From beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's it fly. Kansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how warm they can keep it on, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And he goes with a spin. I'll tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. That one counts, and the senior leader is going to make a big, big trip to the free throw line. That was huge, Brad. He took it about himself. That was all hard there. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Trying to funnel him to the sideline, take him to a trap. Goes up for two. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Takes away the pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Stolen. Here they go into transition. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number 22 makes the finger roll. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Intercepted. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. There's the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He's open if he wants the shot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 32 picks up the foul. Third personal foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Thanks, Aaron. Nice high post screen. In and out. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. No. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Up and inside. Tries a three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Picked off. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Rims out. Goes up for two. Way off target. He launches a three. He makes the shot. Gets the ball and out faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. Here's a double team. He misses it. Makes the shot. There's the trap. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you what, thing that leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Working around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up for two off the rim and no good. On the outside, up fake, up and inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. Robs him of the ball. They're off into transition. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista off in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, look at him rotate over. Gets it to fall. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? For two, basket falls despite the contact. Steals the pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. For the deuce, sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Pressure in the basketball. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. On the outside. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes it off him. Tries for two. Easy one. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. They'll work it around the arc. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. They work it around the perimeter. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. And the clock stopped with a foul. Another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. They need to score here to turn this to a one possession game. The Jayhawks are going to call a timeout, and with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. He shoots. Nope. And yet another foul. And 
there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, know when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes his second shot. They really need a score here to have a chance. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. He takes the three. Foul them early and give your team a chance. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. It. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. game Brad when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment they did a terrific job offensively Yale just wanted it a little bit more in this game and because of that they're going to live to play another day Dick hey they're on their way to the Elite Eight Mr. Nestle where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in the nation so for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews I'm Brad Nestler saying so long <laughs>